Hi, thank you for having me. I'm Sané, an Egyptian-British filmmaker and activist. Egypt is responsible for over a third of total methane gas consumption in Africa, and we are the continent's second largest gas producer with plans to increase. We expand in many projects that harm the environment and the climate. Yet somehow we seem to champion Africa in the conversation about climate change. Egypt's overall climate targets and policies are rated as highly insufficient. We are not on track with the Paris Agreement. Our government issued a new 2050 national climate change strategy, but this document is not publicly available. As an Egyptian, there is no way, not in my wildest dreams, that I could imagine a local climate activist raising serious concerns in COP27, not because they wouldn't want to, but because they can't. The only reason that I'm able to voice these concerns is firstly, I'm recording this video from London, and secondly, I'm already doomed with the label of human rights activist, so I have nothing to lose. I'm, I've already served three prison sentences, and my brother Ale is currently held in prison in Egypt for sharing a Facebook post. He's on an open-ended hunger strike, and he's slowly dying. My point is, if you are serious about caring for the planet, you need to boldly adopt human rights. This is what I hope you, as the Greens in the German government, are fighting for. There are 103 million in Egypt who are becoming poorer, less literate and more vulnerable every year. There are tens of thousands of political prisoners. Most of them will be materially worse off if the world simply flies into charm, shakes some hands, makes some investments in green hydrogen and flies off again. Warm talks are not enough. You can't take concrete action to ease our oppression. Our civil society groups have been refused accreditation to the conference. The Egyptians that you meet inside the walled city will be thoroughly vetted <coughs> or intimidated beforehand. So, in our own city, de your delegations will be our representatives. We need you to fight for our human rights. We need your governments to push for a prisoner amnesty, especially since your previous governments left you the legacy of benefiting from and empowering our oppression. For three years in a row, Germany exported more arms to Egypt than to any other country. These are weapons we can't afford and we don't need. If they would ever be used, they would be used to silence the Egyptian people. The kind of relationship that now exists between our governments needs to change. We need to break that cycle and start having a relationship that truly puts human rights at its center. Thank you for having me.